Hello, it is Saturday, September 30th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday, no, it's not a Thursday crossword, it's a Saturday crossword, I just said that, uh, which means it is a themeless, perhaps very tricky crossword. Uh, it may well be the most difficult puzzle of the week. We'll have to find out. And this potentially most difficult edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by a new benefactor, William. So welcome, William, and thank you so much for your generous support. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, thanks for coming on. And William is joined by Mitchell Turek, Alan Blunder, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support. They do keep this series going. They do sustain this channel. I'm very grateful to them for that. So thank you to them. Thank you to you if you're a patron. Thank you to anybody who's a patron. I really do appreciate those contributions. And if you'd like to consider helping out, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. And there you can find the bonus videos available to patrons, including the recent Boss Words uh, Fall Themeless League competition solves. And I realized I am late on the weekly mini puzzle speed solve, so I will definitely get that up today. So look forward to that as well. There's also the official mug for benefactors. All right. And uh, please do also subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's a big help. And there is, of course, the Daily Solve Discord chat server, with this, which is linked in the description field as well. It's a nice, friendly chat community over there. All right, so let's get on to the crossword itself. This is a debut construction by Ahmed Bayoumi. Excuse me. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts, and it is a themeless crossword. So nothing, nothing tricky except the clues. Uh, and let's start solving and see how we do. One who's left holding the bag, question mark. I don't know. This might be punny. Blank system. Well, that's vague, isn't it? Like water in a stream, running, or like water in a stream, fresh. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I, I guess fresh as opposed to salt water, but I don't. That doesn't. I'm not sure. Rapper Aubrey Graham, who's known professionally by his middle name. Wow, I have no idea. Drake, five letters. I don't. I don't know. Great fall. Collapse, a tumble, a what? I just don't know that either. Like some drinks and injuries. Iced? You could ice a drink and you could ice an injury. That is the first thing I feel is maybe worth putting in the grid. Hammer home. Hammer home. Is it a home for a hammer? Is that what the question mark pun indicator is doing there? And one who's left holding the bag. What about this? Like roughly one eighth of the US population. Mike, if I think that is about maybe the population of African Americans. Yeah, that fits as well. Okay. That that sounds I think fairly accurate to me. Not that I would know an exact figure, but I think that's in that's in the region, so that that's why that's my guess. Blank stream, sorry, blank system. This is the stream, like water in a stream. A flow. That seems I don't know. Oh, maybe this is Drake. Let's see. Great fall. I don't know. One who's left holding the bag is. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hammer home, be ripe. To be ripe is to. I don't know, boy. I'm not. I'm not off to a strong start, am I? Bit of fish food. Um, uh, I don't know what would this be. Kelp or see something or. Not sure. Things typically copied and pasted rather than typed manually, in messages. I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm really not on my game. Find blank Nintendo mini game. I don't know, but there are these things in the Nintendo Wii console and beyond called Miis, which are little avatars spelled this way in the style of the Wii console, W-I-I. And I could imagine something, find me. I, I don't know of it, but it seems logically plausible to me. Let's see. I'm going to I'm going to leave that there for now remembering that it may or may not be correct. 
Christmas Carol title starter. What is the name of a Christmas Carol that would start this way? Grams. Could be the unit of measurement, of course. That was my first thought. But it could be grandmothers, nanas, that sort of thing. I'm going to put that in as well because I just don't have much going on the grid. Map of Hawaii often. It's often an inset map because it's far enough away from the contiguous United States that it's usually uh, inset closer in the Pacific Ocean. So a dessert, oh, I didn't see this one. Dessert with layers is sp Spumoni. Does that work with this? Christmas Carol title starter. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be blindingly obvious when I see it, but I, I don't yet. Things typically copied and pasted. Oh, URLs. Yes, that is true. You would usually, but you most of the time don't manually type a URL because they're often long and unwieldy. Bit of fish food and be ripe. To, oh, to smell. You could you could be, be ripe and, and be sort of, you know, pungent. Where to make one's voice heard with V. Or to make one's voice heard. The halls, the... I'm not sure. Contemporary artist Carrie May Weems. I'm fairly sure I've heard that name. Oh, come all ye faithful as the Christmas Carol title starter. There we go. Okay. So here we have Lions, the Haitian Revolution, and the Aponte Conspiracy of 1812, e.g. Uh, so it looks like this me is actually fairly likely to be correct. The M and the I are the first M. The M and the first I are certainly correct. At least they appear to be. Hammer home, great fall. What do we have down here? Took a hit. And fleece wearer. A U, maybe? The sheep who wears the fleece before it's shorn. Blank system. Oh, this does look like a flow, doesn't it? Water in a stream would be a flow. It's moving water. It's not still. Took a hit. Toked. <laughs> there we go. Took a hit of a joint in this case, I guess. So, so what is this? Great fall. Is there some meaning of fall I'm not thinking of? There, probably not. I probably just can't think of the right synonym. One who's left holding the bag, question mark, is. And modern coinage for someone turned successfully through their celebrity parents. Right. This is a very, very recent coinage within the last just couple of years. Uh, Nepo baby, um, referring to the concept of nepotism. Uh, so having benefited from family connections. Where to make one's voice heard with the the polls. Uh, you make your voice heard at the polls in an electoral system. Bit of fish food. Oh, a pellet. So fish food in, a, in an aquarium setting. Have we looked at this yet? No, but I don't know that I know it. Esther of good times. Esther pool ghoul. I'm not sure. Hot bed. Not sure about that either. Republicans in the 1850s, typically. Abolitionists. So this would be, if this is uh, U.S. history, um, U.S. sort of political history clue. Oh, rebellions, right. Why did I not think of rebellions when I saw that L-I-O-N-S? I guess it's just because it went into my head as lions, which I realized was not going to be the actual answer, but then I was unable to recontextualize that string of letters into something useful. There we go. Okay, so slave rebellions. There we go. Okay, yes. Um, I need to look up the Aponte conspiracy. I'm certainly familiar with the Haitian Revolution, but Less so the, the latter event. I'll need to I'll need to look that up. Um, Hammer Home is a bar. A what what sort of hammer are we talking about here? Oh, an ear. The the hammer is a is a bone in the ear. That would be it. So one who's left holding the bag is something. A great fall is a dive. Okay. Oh, caddy, a golf caddy, right? Okay, there we go. That makes sense. They're holding the golf, the golf bag, the bag of clubs. So a cast system, there we go, right? Such as 
you'd famously find in India, for instance. And then Esther of Good Times. Yeah, I just don't know. A word before we forget. So lest we forget is a common phrase. And uh, so when we say a word before, we simply mean a word that goes before the other words we forget. Feudal superiors leeches. There we go. Uh, from the, the sort of medieval feudal land ownership and land working system. James Clavell bestseller, Blank Pan Taip, Taipan. I, I've never actually read anything by James Clavell, but I, th I, mean, I think I've seen, uh, he's best known for what, Shogun, I suppose. I think I've seen this book, Taipan, but I don't, couldn't tell you anything about it. Make a blank of, make a hash of, something that I often say about my own crossword performance. Make a meal of, I mean, there are quite a few things this could be. Post-op persona, perhaps. New, the new me. There we go. New me has come up a couple of times in various contexts in the New York Times crossword. Good thing to have on the record. A win. If you your, your win-loss record, it would be a win would be a good thing to have. Umami enhancer could be MSG, monosodium glutamate. Um and World War II con which you can just buy in little, you know, you can buy it at the supermarket in a little jar. I've got a little jar of that in my cupboard. World War II combat initials. Um, not sure about that one. What about this? Sort who might be testing the waters as some sort of biologist, a marine biologist. There we go. Feels though when I was growing up, this was one of those stereotypical jobs that was, it was sort of stereotypically aspirational job for some reason, specifically a marine biologist. I don't remember anyone ever saying that about any other kind of marine biologist, but I, I do I just remember that coming up for some reason. World War II combat initials. I'm sure I'll know it. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Maybe I won't, but I don't see it now. Make a... All right, this wasn't any of the things I was saying. Make a note of... There we go. Yet another thing that you can make a something of. Rock band with the 2023 album, This Stupid World. Well, I don't know the album, but it must be Yola Tango, which is a band. So ETO, oh... Is it, this is the European Theater of Operations. Okay, so that, that is familiar, but I, I, didn't, I didn't think of it before. Verbally lose it without. To lash out at somebody would be to lose it in a verbal way. Uh, if one butts into somebody else's business, one noses in. Stand-up comedians typically are... I'm not sure. What about this? Tabbies. They're cat, tabby cats. House cats, maybe? Initials before Queen Elizabeth. HM for Her Majesty. What would the... Oh, maybe it's a ship. HMS? Yeah, but that, I bet that's it. HMS Queen Elizabeth. Her Majesty's ship. Okay. I guess now it would be His Majesty's ship. Oh, that's a funny... That's a funny conflict there. Tabby's EG. Oh yeah, it does look like house cats now, doesn't it? So a bit of farm food could be an oat for horses or what have you. Suffix with press uh, pressure, so simply a suffix that is added to press to make a, a noun. Well, actually, I guess pressure can be a verb as well. Place is... Um, why do I not see this? I don't know. I can't think of a synonym of place that fits. Sorry about that. Sherpas, e.g., are Asians. So that's a, a demographic group. And then detective story could be an alibi. So your your sort of claim as to why you you're not implicated in a crime. Hotbed of oh, a hotbed of rice. There we go. Very good. So rice generally served hot. And then Esther of Good Times. Esther Rowley. Okay, I don't, I don't think I know the name. And I apologize for likely having mispronounced it. Gives, but not for good. You lend somebody something, you give it, but not for good. And then, oh, in one's place, in one's stead, in one's loo. There we go. That is, of course, the answer. Organization associated with interceptions. Right, so you might think this is the NFL, the National Football League, but no, not that sort of interception. It's the NSA, the National Security Agency. 
presumably. I mean, I guess it theoretically could be the NSC, the National Security Council, but I don't think so. Okay, kind of rescue search. An error something, I'm not sure. Basketball legend Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, who... Isaiah Thomas, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I know I've I've encountered his name before, mainly in crosswords, to be honest. And it is spelled in a slightly unusual way. That means I'm not actually certain if it's pronounced Isaiah or Isaiah. But um, but there we have it. I'm fairly sure that's correct. So kind of rescue search, maybe it is air something. Music score abbreviation crescendo, um, which is a sort of progressive increase in volume. That could be it, and that is often abbreviated rather than writing the full crescendo. In fact, almost always. Uh, Stand-up comedians typically are solo acts, right? That is typically the case for a stand-up comedian. This is Dear Mercy, and thou blanket not, Romeo and Juliet. Seest? I'm not sure. Relative of a filly. A, I assume this will be a horse. What would it be? Colt. Let's see. Having down pat. To you're having it down pat. You're. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, what have we not yet seen? Wordle and others are games. They're. I don't know. I saw Wordle every day on this channel. If you were not aware. A uh, certain religious ruling, an edict, a, uh, what about this? Lug, to tow something around. Oh, it could be a lug like a person, your big lug, your big ape, that kind of thing. I don't know which I think it is. Honeydew producer. Uh, I mean, a honeydew is a melon. Not sure, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on here. Inventor of the steel plow. Wow, okay. Is that a specific person or a sort of society? I suspect, I mean, you'd think it would be a person the way that it's clued. Inventor of the steel plow. Sounds like it's referring to a person. Lug, okay. I'll need something to give me a start in that corner. Title in DC. It could be senator or representative, I'm guessing, because D.C., the District of Columbia, is the seat of the United States Legislature, which includes the Senate and the House of Representatives. Let's see. Have I looked at these yet? No, I haven't. Key to understanding ancient history would be the row. No, I was going to say the Rosetta Stone, but it isn't that. Although, oh, no, it is. It is. It is. It's the Rosetta Stone. Okay, there we go. Um, of course, famously used um, to uh, translate uh, various ancient languages. Kind of rescue search an error. I still don't see what this is. I apologize. What about this? Thou seest not, maybe? What you might use to play music on a beach. Some uh, a cordless stereo? Uh, cordless... Is this an air sea search, maybe? Having down pat. Title in DC, no, no. Because, oh, right, right. Because Rosetta Stone now gives me rep for representative for the title in DC. Okay, so what is this? Wireless? Stereos? Doesn't seem very likely to have a plural there. So this could still be air air C. So this is having down pat, inventor of the steel plow, honeydew producer, and certain religious ruling. Oh, well, the TW could be a fatwa. So right, it could be a religious ruling in the sense of fatwa being declared. And then wordle and others, lug. Okay, so it could be you big lug, you big ape, honeydew producer. Is it an aphid? Not quite sure I understand what that means. If so, does that help with this? Having down pat. Ad oh, yeah, you're adept at something. You're having it down pat. Yes, you're very good at it. It's second nature. So this looks like then Deere, John Deere, the sort of farm equipment manufacturer. That must be the case. 
and then Wordle is a fad, I, I suppose, <laughs> which is, I think is often used in a sort of pejorative sense to suggest that it, its popularity will wane or, or even dissipate. So this is AFID. I'll need, to, I'll need to look up what that's about. Okay, well, that corner seems taken care of now. So French word in vineyard. So cru, clou in French would be, uh, I assume this is, this will be the word in three letters, something to do with wine vintage and then, or, or provenance. And then I think there's the phrase grand cru, but I'm not, I'm just not hundred percent sure. And as usual, I don't know enough about wine to speak about it in any kind of depth or with authority. Fail under pressure to, maybe it isn't that, woman's name with an accent on its fourth letter. Oh no, this looks good. Renee would have an accent here, speaking of French, to give it the A sound at the end. And then C57 down, and the 57 down says, with 50 down, many people making downloads. App users, there we go. Those are the people downloading the apps. Remittance receipts. I'm not sure. Wireless what you might use to play music on a beach? Oh, oh, wireless speaker. Okay. I suppose so. I mean, you'd need something connected to the speaker. You connect it, I guess, to your phone with Bluetooth. That makes sense. Okay. Wireless speaker. I see. That is more current than a wireless stereo. So that's actually better than what I guessed. Fail under pressure is to... I don't see that. That's annoying. Blank alert. And in the red, say, red being capitalized. That's interesting. What does that mean? Oh, as in in the Red Sea? You're a sea? That's funny. That's a very funny sort of subtly punny clue. Because you think that and you see in the red, you're sort of experiencing financial loss or you're in debt. But not in this case. Word on either side of two, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as they say. So stay alert. That's simply a phrase someone might say that to you. Remittance receipts. Oh, re, oh, sorry. I read this incorrectly several times as receipts. It's remittance recipients. Sorry about that. So people who would receive a, you know, remittance of money. So payees, the person being paid. And then to fail under pressure is to choke, of course. I don't know why I didn't see that, but there we go. And that's it. That was the Saturday crossword. Um, not a brutally difficult Saturday, I don't think, but uh, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm having trouble with this puzzle distinguishing between my sort of slowness around certain things. Like choke should have been very, very obvious, but for some reason I just didn't didn't pop into my brain. Um, I'm having trouble distinguishing between that and places where the puzzle was genuinely difficult. And I don't know. I think this corner was pretty tough. Fatwa aphid deer. I think those are would not be obvious to most people. Although this aphid honeydew thing might be more obvious to many than it is to myself, because I'm just not sure I, I understand the sort of process involved that's being described. Um, yeah, I, I think I think a tough puzzle, not the toughest Saturday puzzle we've ever seen, but certainly I would say probably it was indeed the most difficult puzzle this week. And then some interesting historical uh, references. We've got the abolitionist slave rebellion. That's a, that's a, a sort of interesting cross, even though they're referring to different populations. And then uh, we have this demographic clue, one eighth of the U.S. population, African American. I mean, that crossing abolitionist and parallel to slave rebellions is also sort of interesting. I wonder if there's any kind of historical anniversary that the you know that this puzzle is in some way sort of tipping the hat to. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, just an interesting puzzle all around, some modern uh, pop culture and some some history as well. And there we have it. That was the Saturday crossword. And as promised yesterday, uh, I am going to review the comments on clues from yesterday's puzzle, although the only ones, I only found two and they were about the same clue. So I'll just read both. Chasmart Designs explains snowballs, S-N-O, Balls are cake balls covered in coconut shavings. And Kathleen Quinn goes into more detail and explains they are cream-filled chocolate cakes covered with marshmallow frosting and coconut flakes formerly produced and distributed by Hostess. Snowballs are usually pink. However, they are also available 
in chocolate, lemon, white, green, blue, and other colors for specific holidays and times of year. So there we go. That was, I sort of vaguely remembered, I think, sort of what they looked like. Um, I don't think I've ever consumed one, so I was not entirely aware of their contents. And there we have it. That was all that I found from yesterday's puzzle. But as always, thank you to those who left comments, and thanks to you for watching to the end. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the much larger themed Jumbo Sunday edition of The Crossroads, so do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Mm -hmm.